Ah, now we don't function. Boom. Oh, Mogus 1235 numbers. F the name. A little ship over here on World 4. 22 lives. We finally started to add up a little bit of lives here. You know, I used to, be, like I said, I always used to be able to, like, beat this game with, like, 99 lives and stuff. And I was hurting here when I was playing this through the beginning. But now I think we're starting to get to the stretch here where you're going to see the lives start adding up. And you're going to see the power-ups keep going. And you're going to see your brother killing it right here. Uh, yeah, this this is probably, like, the toughest ship so far, by far. I mean, I know it kind of, like, makes sense for it to get harder and harder. But this, this one's, like, a little bit of a real type of challenge stuff, you know? And they kind of show you this little weird mechanic thing of being on here, which just still feels weird to, like, this day. It's still not, like, 100%. I always, I remember as a kid, used to try to, like, be the Tanuki or, like, the Raccoon Mario here because I wanted that flexibility of being able to kind of fly off and, like, just not even, like, involve myself with some of those platforms and stuff like that. Obviously, in this case, we don't have it until, like, right now. Let's see how quick we lose it, though. Because I was talking about how, like, happy I made it, how be much better I was. But let's see how quick we lose it. You know, the one thing that's also interesting about the ship stage, and I think they all, the ships kind of all have their own signature um, motif, shall you say. Uh, I, I feel like they were all kind of, like, made just, like, an escalation of, like, what's harder with that, what's harder with that. Let's keep adding them up and stuff like that. But I would have wished that they also had a little bit more to do with the world that they were in. I think this would have been cool to see maybe some of these flames like bigger and some of these flames like smaller. Uh, who knows if the NES could push something like that. Maybe that's just a graphical limitation that they had at the time. Um, but it is interesting to what would have what would have they been able to do if they would have kind of thought outside of the box a little bit of just like the ship and kind of make it part of the world and whatnot. And oftentimes I remember two years ago, I forgot to do it here, but I would just go like up top here instead of like doing this whole nonsense. But look at that nice little jump right there to get you through. Ooh! That's clean right there. You boy, clean right there. Okay. I would try to say I remember these guys' names, but I don't. I think I always just call everybody Iggy. Uh, let's call the guy. I don't think he's Larry, though. I don't know. This is like the nerdy little one. I don't know what this guy's name was, but it's all right. We didn't really let him participate too much right here. You know what I'm saying? Your boy just murdered game. World 4. Deuces. Fini. What some people would label their favorite worlds ever. I, I like it. It's not up there as a favorite, though, but I definitely like it. Uh, and then we're on to World 5, which is a funky, funky World 5 is split into a bunch of different things, a little bit funky, there's a stage that we, I remember, I remember my mom used to call it the cake stage, which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with cakes, there's the shoe, which also has nothing to do with anything, uh, you never see it again, until you get Mario Maker, uh, it's weird, 